In January, when I first got back in the studio, the first thing I did was reorganize my entire studio, declutter, get rid of stuff, and put things in order for the upcoming year, which I'm really happy about. It felt good to cleanse and to organize, see what I had, what I wanted to get rid of. I know I always say, keep all your artwork, even the stuff you don't like. But at some point, obviously, you need space. And also, you kind of know after a year, two years, five years, if a piece of art does it for you or not. And that's where I was at with a few pieces. So there's a few things that I painted over, ready for new art to come. I put everything neatly in my cupboards. I got a label maker as a present, which is pretty cool. I was able to organize everything really excited in my last video i told you my big plan for the year and i'm really happy about that so today is kind of the first day to start working on all that i made a little purchase of art supplies so i will do a little art haul to start and we'll go from there all right i got some spray varnish one is glossy one is matte because i have a few charcoals i have to spray and set i got a whole bunch of these canvas boards i really like canvas boards like these because they're very inexpensive and they're great to explore and if ever something comes out nicely like better than expected it's a good way to have a nice sturdy surface that you could frame, you know? So it's about a dollar a piece or even less when you buy in bulk. And I love to explore with that. The thing I wanna do with this is, let me show you. I had done these studies collage for my series that I want to work on. And when it comes to collage, if it's, um, even a, a thick cardboard paper, it tends to buckle a lot because of the glue that you put and the thickness of whatever layers you put on. And with canvas boards, you don't have that warping and buckling effect. That's why I like doing it. So I plan to explore a whole bunch of collages like these on canvas boards. I think I might I have ordered 20 have eight by tens and a square format. I tend to really like square formats. Composition wise, I feel like they're harder to get right, but I like the final result. So I have 10, eight by eight as well. I got a couple large canvases. 24 by 30, which is nice and sizable. It's not, I feel like 24 by 30 is substantial. This is 24 by 30. It's large enough that it can fill up a space, but not crazy, crazy big. So I got two of those and with the nice thick border, my favorites. But that's not all. Oh my gerbs. This one is quite like, hold on. Can I get this out? I'm gonna have to turn it. This is a 36 by 48, so four feet by three feet. It's the largest canvas that I've ever purchased. In all the years I've painted, I never dared to go this big. Some people paint even larger than that. That's not that large, but it's pretty sizable for me. It's gonna be the largest piece ever. And large canvases are very expensive, so pressure to perform. And I was telling you about the square 
format that I really like. This is a 36 by 36. Now I gotta create all these beautiful pieces of art. No pressure. This painting started out like this here with these colors, this color palette, love it. I really like this color palette. So the first thing I wanna do is kind of recreate this type of vibe on one of the large canvases before I work on this one and my reference kind of disappears under whatever layer I'm gonna put on. So that's gonna be my first step, get a first layer of beautiful, bold colors on a large canvas. It's very exciting to work as large as this and it's also very daunting. Oh, and I don't know if I showed you, but my flowers from last summer, these are gumfinas and I was able to dry them. They're all dry, but they retain their beautiful color. So I have a couple bouquets in the house, which I really love. Are you being cute? How are you doing? Are you getting the toys? Go get your chicken. Where's your chicken? <laughs> <laughs> That's your hamburger. You're so cute. Look at mama. Oh, there you go. That put a face.
I painted this first layer and I'm really happy with it and I actually did a second painting prepared the first layer as well because my paints were out I thought might as well have two paintings started I also prepared a sketch for the next step I've taped together four pieces of newspaper so that it would fit this format of 48 by 36 to do my sketch before I can transfer the sketch on the canvas and then finalize the painting. But now I'm at a point where I'm not sure exactly what I wanna paint. I don't have the final reference photo. I have a couple options, but I think I want to take a few more photos. It's gonna be musical themed. So right now I think I'm gonna go see David and ask him if he wants to help me take a few photos for more inspiration, more options before I decide what the heck I'm gonna be painting on this. Can you help me with photos? Okay. I'd like to take a few shots with the guitar, I think. Okay. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. So I, I took the proper ratio mm -hmm. to help us like frame it better. It's four by three. I think I'd like to take a few shots with the Sheraton. So you could put yourself over there standing and I'm gonna try to take a few shots. Okay, fair note, d'accord. Maybe I should take a couple shots of the piano. Should we try a shot with the Merlin? Let's let's see. He's always ready to Okay, go to your bed. Lennox, Come here, come here, you sit. So I've done quick mock-ups of one, two, three, five potential drawings. I want to start with the larger painting, the 36 by 48. And I've cut up pieces that were the proper ratio, four by three. And I did like a quick tracing of some of the reference photos to decide which one I was going to do. It's a big decision because it's a large canvas and I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> so on one hand, I have this very simple guitar, like acoustic guitar with the hand that would look lovely on this for sure. And it would be probably the safest bet just because I know it would be an effective composition that would fit really well on this. So that's a safe choice that would look really nice. But I also, well, I like them all except maybe for the piano. I think like the perspective is off. Like I would have to rework on the composition of this one, but all the other ones, I like them. This grunge like ripped jeans guitar could look nice as well. It's kind of like a little bit more edgy. I think more people would like this. So this is a little bit more specific. I think it would work as well. 
I think my favorite might be the cello. This is David playing the cello. Um, it's the riskier one. So it's the more complicated one. There's a lot of moving parts as in like, because whenever I, I do these, I have to decide what will be black, what will be all pops of colors, but the sketch has to be simple enough to be able to read the image, but still be interesting. So this is kind of my favorite, but it's the riskier one and I'm a little bit torn. Do I go for the lovely, nice, safe composition that I know will work? Or the more risky, more risky one that would be like bolder in a way. I have to think about it. I'm gonna let myself think about it a little bit more. Also, I just received more art supplies. I ordered more paint just because for two reasons, I'm running low on paint. And because I'm doing this series and some of the canvases are very large, I'm using up a lot more paint and my tubes are running low faster and I've noticed that right now it seems like the stocks at least in my art supply store are running low as well so there's a lot of colors missing and I don't want to be in the middle of a painting and not have specific colors that I need especially white I don't want to miss white so I got this basic like large tube I got three tubes never used I use Liquitex a lot but I've never used the basic acrylic paints if you hear this in the background David is doing vocal exercises so we're having a little concert in the background <laughs> I've never tried the white and the student quality so hopefully it's opaque enough it should be good liquid x usually have good quality paints i got this gigantor neon pink it's a color that i really love like this is the neon pink it really pops and i got um ultramarine blue in soft body do you have a favorite blue i don't know I never know which blue to get when I buy a tube of blue. I don't know. I haven't figured out what was my blue, you know? This is the ultramarine green, blue but green shade. There's also the red shade, I'm assuming. So, these are the new paints that I got. <sighs> I have to make this decision now and start sketching on my giant sketch paper.
I decided to be brave, go with the cellist. I'm really happy with the sketch. Now I have to transfer the sketch on the canvas. And the reason I didn't sketch directly on the canvas is that I have to preserve those bold colors underneath, like as bold as possible. So I didn't want to put like the really dark lines for my sketch uh, on, on the under painting. So I decided to do a sketch like this i'm gonna put a little bit of pigment in the background i think i might do either graphite or maybe a light uh, pastel color so that when i go over everything it's gonna print i guess you know how transfer works i made a video about it so i'm gonna transfer once the drawing is transferred i'll be able to start painting I can't wait for it to be done and to see the final result because I've never painted this large before so it's really exciting.
it's done i did it it's all finished and i'm really really happy with it i'm really glad that i pushed through and i did the not safe option i wanted to do this cellist but it felt more complex because there was more moving parts than just like a simple guitar or something because i want some of those paintings to be very simple and minimal and other ones to be a little bit more intricate like this one and like i have mentioned it's the largest piece i've ever done to some it might not be that large it's three by four but to me it's really big so it's a lot of money a large canvas a lot of money and I didn't want to ruin it and it was also my first piece of the year and it was the first time I did this technique in I think a couple years yeah so I, part of me was thinking just ease into it do something simple that you know you can get done that will look nice and you'll be proud of it's gonna build confidence for the series for you to like get momentum and we move forward with but then there was this other part of me thinking i really it would look so nice to have this cellist in a large scale but i was insecure that if ever it didn't work out it would kind of sap my excitement about the series that the first one didn't work out the big one didn't work out so it was kind of a risk but i'm glad i did it it didn't come easy though you know how sometimes people have this romantic notion of when you're in the zone you let things flow it's gonna it reflects the this mindset that you have while painting is reflected in the result i think it's a very romantic view of things but i don't think it's necessarily representative of reality not in my experience at least i feel like a painting that comes together is not because i was more in the zone or more in the flow i think it's very random sometimes it just doesn't come out sometimes i'm really not into it and something really beautiful comes out in a super easy way and i wasn't really feeling it while i was doing it and sometimes it's vice versa i think that it's kind of random and also more consistent positive results come with a lot of experience so if i did 200 of these paintings with this technique i could pretty much predict that a painting will come out nicely or pretty much the way i wanted to just because i've done it so much you know but when you explore so many things the way i have in the past few years it's kind of random anyways this all this to say sorry I, i'm rambling a bit but all this to say that this one didn't come super easily because i put a lot of pressure on myself to begin with and like doing the sketch was hard and i was questioning like where to put the colors if this should have been black and then the outline more colored like where to put the big pops of color i was questioning everything and every time i was sitting down to make a decision i wasn't sure and it felt heavy and long so the process was exciting but it didn't flow you know like sometimes it does but it worked out and i love 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 it i can't tell you how much i love it i really love it I'm really excited. If you want to know what my plans are for this year, I tell it all in that video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's gonna explain a lot of this. And I will see you in just a few days for another cozy art vlog. Thank you so much for watching.